Grey Merlin has been quite predominant in ungeared PvP right now, so I thought it would be funny to just seal her. I got Blue Galfer, he seals debuff cards for one turn, and I'm making like a Frankenstein build here, where I'm going to be using his debuff with Green Sauriel to boost up Lilia, so that not only we can actually fight um, Green Merlins, but we can fight anyone, because then Lilia's going to be boosted up, she's going to be max passive, we have Green Zaljus to boost up stats, and the end will protect us. I think this team build here could work against many other teams. And because we have a blue DPS, he's going to probably be decent against Reinhardt. And um, I can see it being okay against Astorosa because we have decently high DPS, but we'll see. Again, first one's Reinhardt, but I do want to face... Um, Ooh, do we seal buff card? I think we seal buff card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We seal buff card so that he cannot use up his uh, his HP increase here. I like that dodge, but sure. You know, it would be great to um, push ult of Lilia. But it's not going to happen. Okay. Good damage. You don't really usually use the N with Zeldris. So you don't expect her to tank all that well. But the N with some more HP stats and defense. <clears throat> did pretty decent there. Okay, I didn't, I didn't want to drop him under 20 to full heal. But we got no Lilia cards. Oof. Okay. The N's building up. Ah, uh, she's not gonna die to this. Okay. I would love to go straight for Reinhard. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna seal it again. And then do a big punch on Reinhard. I'm gonna save the um I'm gonna save the uh ult for when he pushes ult of Reinhard. So there's a bit of an ult control as well. Okay, we can kill Gaff uh, we can kill Arthur now. I think if I ult with Gaffer, I got the damage reduction plus that. And then attack. It will not drop him and then kill him. And then we can uh, stance back up for uh, not allowing Reinhardt to touch Gaffer. Yep, Lily should kill. Good one, Lily, good one. Now he, he's gonna uh, bring in uh, Twigo, which is not great because taunt, but. He's got no ultimate gauge, so very unlikely he's going to push ult. Or he will be able to push ult. And we can't seal his blue cards anymore. My DN is so built. She's so, <laughs> she's so built. Okay. I kind of want to do this. Get level 3 for Galfer, just cuz. Now he's gonna have blue card, which is not great for us. Cause oh no, he won't because he disabled himself. Never mind. He disabled himself by um double AoEing with Bon to try to kill Galfer and failed because we had so much damage reduction in stats. Again, Dan's HP is really high here. Okay. Tense. Ult. That will definitely kill Twigo. But we're gonna have no debuffs on him. Can we still kill Bon? Wow, didn't expect that much damage, but the end took so much that she just dished it all back. Ooh. Gonna seal off that uh, Reinhard from uh, 
am I concerned about damage on any specific? I don't think I am. I'm just gonna, but I'm just gonna taunt. I was gonna attack with Galfer to like do some DPS, but I, I'm gonna do this instead. I think it's more, uh, it's, just, it's just safer, right? Because at this point, I mean, we're not gonna take much. And I think the way the debuffs work from Brynhildr, every single turn that passes, we're gonna heal. Because the debuffs go away, if you don't, if you don't know, for whatever reason, Galfer's passive. When you get a debuff cleansed or just away from you, you heal. Let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, he healed a little bit, but I I'm not sure if that was why. Okay, we're gonna attack with Galfer. And then, do I make sure? I think I make sure. I'll make sure that Brynhildr dies. It's gonna be full debuffs. I think it's like, it's, it is five. We did not kill Brynhildr, okay. Oh yeah, it healed, you see that? That is how it works. At the end of the turn, because the debuffs left, um, our characters healed a quite decent amount. It wasn't like insane or anything. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Thankfully, it was type disadvantage. No, no Merlin. So far, okay. That's great. <laughs> It's all I wanted to face, but sure. Um, I'm not too concerned, I'm just gonna do this. Rumor might do some okay damage on Galfer, but it's fine. Galfer's attack card doesn't do any damage, by the way. I just want to do an extra debuff. Because um, Galfer's debuff <clears throat> goes away in the next turn, meaning that Lilia is gonna have like no debuffs. But with this, I, have, I can have six debuffs in the following turn as well, guaranteed. Um, I mean, you'll be irresponsible for me to not to just ultra rush with the enemy. Or do I? Nah. Nah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. It's gonna be hard enough to kill Melly. I'm not sure about Rimuru. That was decent. That was like about the same as uh, Lilia did. Because okay, there's a more of a <laughs> off brand DN. You usually use DN for tanking, right? You only really care about her damage when it comes to the ultimate or towards the end of the, the battle, you know? She, have, she has 5 ultimate gauge. She took 500,000 damage during the match. You don't really care to see when the beginning, right? Um, let's kill this here. Ooh, they were doing. I mean, I I can't look at Lilia's AOE and say, "Oh, that did quite good damage." After seeing what she did with Asterosa, those AOE damage numbers were so insane. If you haven't seen the. Uh, Lilia plus Esterosa video. Lilia's AoEs were doing so, so much damage because she was getting um, crazy stat buffs. Plus, right? Plus, she was getting. Uh, okay, I'm. I'm just gonna make sure I win here. She was getting a uh, fifty percent damage from Hendrickson, so she was just absolutely popping off. Not so much here, because we don't have the debuffs anymore, that's why they didn't bother attacking with her. We're gonna kill with her, though. It's fine. We're gonna remove the, uh, the buffs. There's a problem, problem with using green Sauriel on someone that isn't Lydia. Okay, this will end it, it's fine. Remove the, the buffs, lower their HP like that. Then the end can, you know. Clear up. Okay, it took me a while. I had to lose. I had to quit from like multiple matches, but I finally found the Merlin. 
Couldn't find the new Chimp one. Uh, I highly doubt he has dodge food, but uh, I hope he doesn't. We can... Okay, we can stop him from being um, able to use both Merlin debuff and Emilia debuff. Emilia. Akina debuff, which are both terrible for me. Uh, no seal for next turn, but... If we can... Maybe... Get a kill... On... Merlin. Yeah, Merlin. Only because the stun. Ah, oh, but she has Tarmiel Link. Nah. He knows. There, there was no way for him to win. The little damage he did by not being able to apply the debuffs first was terrible. Listen. I, I spent so many gems trying to find a Merlin. I'm not gonna go through that again. I'm gonna end it here. Video short, but... There's like no... I, the whole point of using Blue Gopher was to face Merlin. There's like no one using Merlin. Because unless you're a whale, she's not very good for you.